Hey everybody. Uh, there's a project I've been wanting to do that I learned on YouTube. Um, this particular one is uh, making a stove, a little camp stove, very, very lightweight. No moving parts, no knobs, no valves. And basically, there it is right there. That is a uh, Bud Light aluminum can. Um, much like this and uh, what you do is first of all you want to make a die for um, pressing and what I wound up having to do for the pressing parts since I don't have a press is a uh, jack from a car um, hydraulic in this particular instance um, and I just found it as close as I could get to flat surfaces to press them against uh, like the underside of the motorhome but the ground out there is not level. There just isn't any level ground anywhere around here, and you really kind of need level ground. So uh, the project wasn't a complete success, but I got a good prototype stove out of it that works. So anyway, you make a die. You use, you're going to cut right about here off of one bottle, and then you can just toss the rest. And then you take another bottle, and you make another cut right about up here. And then right about where the taper starts, and then you're going to cut that tip off right there and basically this funnel type shape flips over and fits down inside that piece that you cut off the bottom of that can and what it does is uh, you wind up taking the die that you made first and you shove this down inside there and then press down and it flares out the die the, the uh, edge of it which would be kind of like right here if, it, if you have a die if you're using the die which I tossed because it got, got kind of mangled uh, when I was doing this but once you get that flared out, you put the funnel down inside there, and you take that die and flip it upside down, and slide it down over this piece right here, which is going to be about this tall, even with the funnel in there, because the funnel is going to drop down below the lip. And then you use your press or your jack and motorhome, like I did, and it basically what it does is it rolls the can underneath and makes a nice seal there. Uh, you can see that this is kind of mangled. And it's not supposed to look like that. If you look at John's video on Intense Angler, it's nice and smooth and pretty looking. So, uh, but this is the first one, so I'm not too worried about it. Here's what the inside of it looks like. Okay, that's the little funnel from the top of the can, and you can see these jets that are that I drilled in these little holes. They're called jets, of course. They always got to have a better name than a hole, right? And you put about two ounces of fuel in there, and you light it. And then make sure that it's lit and you just let it sit and within like a minute maybe a minute and a half the flame that's coming out of the top here will disappear and all of a sudden you'll see little jets of flame coming out of these holes and uh, what it does is that they come out like this and your pot which sits up on top of it has those little licks of flame coming right up the side right here and even though I kind of mangled it and it's like oval shaped in there, which is not supposed to be, I put fuel in it anyway because I needed to know. And a sucker lit and it worked. We're able to make a little tea here. This has actually been steeping for a while. But see, it was hot enough to make some tea. It's hot enough to burn your lip. That's good. There, see the flames coming out of the jets? Now, here in a few seconds, that flame coming out of the middle is going to go out. And then you'll just have the jets burning. 